So what I want to know is what drives you. What, what gives you that energy? What puts that battery in your back when you wake up in the morning to go out and conquer the world? What's your why? What's your reason? It's crazy because I was having lunch with my pops, right? And I thought back because ever since I was little, my pops always had a really, really nice car. Nice cars, nice motorcycles. Everything he drove was always nice. And so I was like, pops, it's crazy. Why you always have a nice car? He said, let me tell you. When I was 18, right, I, I really liked this female. And I, I approached her, cautiously approached her, and asked if she would go out on a date with me. She was like, yeah, I'll go out on a date with you. I said, okay, cool. I'll pick you up Friday. She said, now listen to me. When you come pick me up, you got to come to the front door, and you have to meet my parents. You have to meet my mom, and you have to meet my dad. I was like, oh, okay, I will. She was fine. I mean, she looked good. I was like, he was like, little friend, hey, she looked good. So I was like, I'm all in. So I wasn't thinking nothing of it, you know what I mean? I'm young, my car's not that nice. But I was excited because I was going to pick her up, right? And so I get there, right? Go knock on the door. Do, 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 do. Just call, say her name was Sharon, you know? Answer the door. Sharon here? Yeah, she's getting ready. She'll be out in a minute. Her, fops, her father answered the door. He's like, uh, I said, my name, my name is Fred. I'm, I'm going to be a date for the evening. He said, well, it's nice to meet you, son. I said, I'll wait for her in the car. He said, okay. So I walked back to the car. And I noticed behind me, he was following me. I was like, oh, snap. I wonder what else he going to say. I said, I hope he ain't got no gun. Because <laughs> you know back in the day, even today, back in the day, daddies don't play when it comes to their little girls. So I get to the car. I get in my car. He don't say anything to me, though. He just starts slowly walking around my vehicle. And I'm knowing that my car is not that nice, but I'm like, why is this man walking around my car? And he's just walking slowly, looking it up and down. Slowly. Comes all the way back around to my car window. And he looks at me and he's like, Fred, you're dang near walking, ain't you? <laughs> and he's like, oh, that just caught me so off guard. Because I knew my car was raggedy, but I was like so embarrassed. And I vowed from that day forward, he put that battery in my back, that I would never, ever drive anything that was not nice. And so I went to work. I, I had to work two, three jobs. I didn't care. I was going to be driving around in something nice because I never wanted to experience that feeling again. And that's exactly what happened to me. Some of you guys, you don't have something that puts the battery in your back. You don't have something that charges you. You don't have something that energizes you. What's your why? What drives you? What's your reason? What's your purpose? Because it has to be greater than you. It has to be something that pushes you to step outside of your comfort zone. And when you find, when you find something, you find that thing, you hold on to it. And once you conquer, or overcome whatever that why is, you've got to have another why. You have to have something that's bigger than you. It can't be, hey, I just want to make a lot of money. No. It has to be something. I want to I want to I want to do this for my grandbabies. I want to do this for my mama. I want to do this for my daddy. I want to do this for this person, that person, because that will drive you. That will push you to give every ounce of your soul, every ounce of your heart, every ounce of your being. I need you to take a moment right now and ask yourself what drives you. And if you don't know what that is, figure it out. And I promise you when you want to quit, when you want to give up, when you want to throw in the towel, that will give you that extra fuel to get up and keep going because it makes no sense for you to have a car and have absolutely no drive. Figure out your why, figure out your reason, figure out your purpose, figure out what drives you. And before you know it, you would execute and you will go to another level and you'll be driving yourself to the destination of next level.